Are you buying a home or thinking about it? You may not know this, but the cost of buying a home is more than the home price and the down payment. So how much does it cost to buy a home anyway? That's the question that I'm gonna to answer today. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Jen McPhillamy, Realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. Most first time home buyers are pretty surprised to find out that it costs more than just their down payment and the home price to buy a home. What are buyer's closing costs? They're really just a drop in the bucket when you compare it to your home price and your down payment, but these costs can add up, so it's important to budget for them. Also, some lenders, they may not approve you unless you can show proof that you have these closing costs. Okay, so let's go over the estimated cost to buy a home and the approximate time that you're gonna need to pay for these. So closing costs for buying a condo or for buying a home vary slightly. I'll identify which of these items apply to just one or the other. Okay, so in addition to your down payment, this is what you're gonna need to buy a home in Alberta, specifically Edmonton and area. So number one, if you have less than 20% down, you will have an insured mortgage. Most people are using CMHC. So when you have an insured mortgage, there is an insurance premium that gets just added onto your mortgage. So you don't have to come up with the extra cost for this, but you can if you want to. These premiums can be quite high. I recommend downloading the CMHC app and they have a really good tool to estimate those costs. So number two, property inspection. These are applicable to both houses and condos and they can range from $350 to $850 depending on what you're doing. A good number to use for budget purposes for houses is $600 and for condos, I'd say $350. Number three, the condo document review. And as you can tell by the name, this is only applicable to condos. I would argue that a condo document review could be more important than a property inspection when it comes to a condo. The condo document review will be able to advise you on the reserve fund and what state they're in and identify if there's any upcoming assessments or risks of assessments. Assessments can run pretty high. I've seen them as high as $70,000. So definitely a good thing to look into. Title insurance, these are for both condos and houses. Check out my video on title insurance. I'll provide a link so you can see more info on what that is. The average cost for that is about $250. So we're on to number five, realtor fees. Just kidding. If you're a buyer, you don't have to pay these. Sellers closing costs include all realtor fees for both buyers and sellers. Number six, lawyer fees. So the range for this is $1,200 to $2,000 depending on your home and the lawyer that you choose. A good budget number to use is $1,600. The lawyer fees themselves are typically less than $1,000, but they have these things called disbursements. And the disbursements are typically related to things for the title transfer, because the lawyer is the person that handles the transfer of the title. Uh, these are only estimated costs because they don't really know until the time uh, that they're transferring the title. Okay, so in total, you should have about $2,500 to $3,000 saved for closing costs in addition to your down payment. That could be lower if you don't do the condo document review or the property inspection as these aren't required, but they're highly recommended. If you have any further questions about these closing costs or about real estate, just reach out to me. Every one of my clients has a unique personal and financial circumstance, and I will customize a real estate strategy to get you where you need to be. See you soon. Bye.